do with my life? What am I supposed to do for my career? What am I supposed to do in this earth? What am I supposed to do before I die? And everyone's saying, what's my purpose? What's my purpose? And the big vacuum is this. There's a lack of people understanding their identity. Identity is the issue, not purpose. When you know your identity, you won't have to ask, what's your purpose? So the reality is we don't need a purpose-driven life. We need an identity-driven life where the things you do in your life are based on who you are. The, the, the question of what am I here to do, that's, that's a secondary question. The primary question is who am I? Who am I? At the baptism of Jesus, the Father opens up heaven, the Holy Spirit descends on his son, and he doesn't say, Jesus, this, this is my son, he's going to do awesome in ministry. He says, no, this is my son, and I love him. Before he does anything, I'm acknowledging his identity. He's my son, and I love him. Before he preaches any sermons, heals any sick, casts out any demons, before he does anything, before he does any work, I love him for who he is. So his identity is solidified and declared before he achieves his purpose. Identity is always first. It's always first. It's always first. When, when in the Old Testament, the book of Judges, real quick, when, when God is going to call Gideon, Gideon was a like, scared dude in, in Israel. So the, the Israelites had problems with another group called the Philistines because the Philistines were a much bigger, stronger army and coming over to Israel and taking all their crops every time they, it's harvest time. So the Israelites are like, man, that sucks, but we're not going to do anything about it. So God's like, well, you're my people. I'm going to do something about it. So he sends an angel to call Gideon. When the angel gets to where Gideon is, Gideon is hiding in the wine press. Like, he is scared, okay? He's scared. And the angel says, Gideon, you mighty man of valor. Gideon's like, Shh, you see another Gideon? <laughs> He's like, you mighty man of valor, the Lord is with you. What does the angel's message from God say to Gideon? Before we talk about what you're going to do, you've got to understand who you really are. You're, ident- you're a mighty man. Get up, man, from the from hiding. You're a mighty man of valor. He deals with identity before Gideon it, it launches into his, his whole ministry. Even, even in Disney, right, you got, you got Mufasa who's talking to Simba. <laughs> Mufasa has died. And Simba is now pondering what it's going to be like for him to be the king. How is it going to rule Pride Rock? That's a purpose. That's a function. And he's pondering it. And then his dad appears in like the sky and he's looking to the stars. And he goes, Simba. <laughs> Remember who you are. <laughs> right? Remember who you are. It's like, yeah, Simba, remember your identity. What's shaky right now? You're not just afraid of the purpose. You're shaky on identity. When you're shaky on identity, you're going to be shaky on purpose. And shaky on purpose. (laughs) It's our identity. So when we look at this passage, and we see that the body of Christ is a context where we grow into maturity, you have to know It's about your identity being deepened, roots growing in who you are. And you learn who you are in the context of community so that as God's children, we're not still living as orphans going to and fro trying to find out if we're valuable or not, trying to find out if we're significant, trying to find out who we are. You don't go to the world for that question. We go to God for that question. And God answers that question in Christ and then puts us in the body of Christ to cultivate the answer to that question.